Oh, here we are. Sunday, February 26, 2023. I'm Larissa. My video diary. <sighs> Look at this dude over here. Hey. Hey, you. How you doing? Why are you laying on the floor and not on your, on your cushion? Why are you laying on the floor, buddy? Why don't you come up here? Are you handsomest boy? Yes, you handsomest boy. Yeah. Are you sweetest boy? Yeah, you are. You smartest boy? No. Brody, you're the smartest boy I know. Oh, you're smartest boy. You are. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on with you, buddy? Is it raining outside? It sounds like it is. It sounds like it is. A little bit. A little bit of drizzles. And I heard extra bad. Mm. I heard extra bad. Oh my gosh. Some months are worse than others. And I think I had a cyst burst yesterday. Oh my god. Oh. Yesterday. Went with my bloody crampy self dragged myself out to to the gallery because you know it's supposed to be open on saturdays so i have my lounge chair i have my little heating pads <laughs> this lady comes in i said she's old lady i said oh thanks for coming in i said don't worry i said i'm just a middle-aged lady we, uh, I'm, I'm a menopausal woman with cramps I, you know i don't have nothing you can catch <laughs> she's like oh, i don't care about that I'm like i'm sure you don't you're old you don't fucking care, right? Oh my god! Seriously, can't catch, can't catch the menopause. No, you can't. <laughs> can't catch the bloody period. No. <laughs> can't catch the ovarian cyst. No, you can't catch it. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, but seriously. Seriously, it's awful. So that's not going to be fun, huh? That's not going to be fun every month. I'm sorry. I can deal. I guess. On my lounge chair with my with my microwave bean bags. <laughs> Omar came in and he's like, I said, oh, I said, oh, could, could you could you put this in the, in the microwave for me? He's like, okay. He's like, how long? I'm like, hit the pizza button twice. <laughs> He's like, okay. Yeah, so that's what he did. He had the pizza button twice. Heats up my little bean bags. I miss those bean bags. So we don't we don't have a microwave in the house here. I don't generally I don't use a microwave. The only thing I use it for are those bean bags and popcorn. That's like the only thing a microwave is good for, in my opinion. Because I can taste when water's been microwaved and I don't like the way food tastes when it's been microwaved, generally, you know. Mm -mm, I don't and taste it. Tastes weird. Yeah, so. Oh, those little bean bags. I miss them so much. Mm. I used to have a big one. I used to have a big long one. My grandma Rose had a big long one. I don't know where. It's. She bought. She got it like at a church bazaar or something. Some lady was making them. Uh, the ones that I have, L.V. Wyman made for Christmas the one year. Mm. Yeah, had a flannel, flannel. I don't know why. I think it's buckwheat holes she has in it. I don't know. I don't know. I've, I haven't. I've never opened one up. I don't want to open it up. It works. I'm gonna put them in the freezer too and make them cold. Sometimes I use them for migraines too. Only thing is they don't hold the cold as long as they hold the heat. They hold the heat on longer than the cold. So it makes me think of buckwheat holes. Oh. Then here in the house, I just use my electric heating pad. <laughs> My electric heating pad that I got to fight sassy for sometimes. Poor kitty. She's been meow meowing in the middle of the night. She's been meow meowing. Like she's in pain or something. Last night though, I think she was meow meowing. I think she's lonely. She's mad that I've started sleeping upstairs again. She wants me to sleep downstairs again. I don't know. I might sleep downstairs tonight. I might. Just because she's been so meow meowing. That's what I mean. 
Not meow, meow. Mwah. That one. Miserable's kind of meow. Poor sassy. Yeah. So the Cookie Monster guy in Santa Cruz, I read that his name is Adam Sandler. Not related. No relation to the comedian Adam Sandler. I think the comedian Adam Sandler should start dressing up like Cookie Monster. <laughs> I think it's funny as hell. It's also disturbing. Isn't it? It's probably like it's cold outside. The Cookie Monster costume is probably warm. Evidently, he has some sort of criminal record in other states. They didn't say for what. Who knows? He's dressed like Cookie Monster. <laughs> He's been eating all the cookies. I don't know. What's he doing? What's he doing in a Cookie Monster suit? What are you doing in a Cookie Monster suit? What is wrong with you? <laughs> cookie Monster. Oh my god. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. Hey! Oh my god. So the Warriors play this afternoon. Ugh. I guess I'm gonna watch. I think I'm going to scrub the toilets if I can. Oh, I should wait until I'm done bleeding to do that, huh? I'm just like squirting blood everywhere. <clears throat> it's gross. Went through yesterday. Uh, you know, said, people said it's TMI, but like this is, this is reality. First day of my period, I went through four super plus tampons and 10 pads. That was eight pads before I got home, right? That was just at the gallery. And I got home and I went through another like six pads. Yeah. And I got up this morning just in time before I was, you know, going to be leaking all over the place and having to change the sheets. Mm -hmm. oh, the cramps are really, really bad though. So I think I, I think I had a cyst burst yesterday. Because there was like, I had really, really sharp pain. And then there was like a huge flood that happened. I couldn't even wear a tampon. Tampon flushed out. So I couldn't wear the tampon. And that's usually what like what happens. It was probably a big one. I think it was a big one. Because it felt like when I was doing yoga earlier in the week, it felt like when I bent over, I could feel on that side where I get them. I, get, I usually get them on the right. Sometimes I get them on the left, but I usually get them on the right. The time that they were going to do surgery that one time, I almost did surgery. It was on the right. It was like this big. That's big. Cause like your ovaries just like, it's pinky nail. All right. If that like tiny, right. I mean, that's big. I can feel it. I can feel it over there. It burst. It was very painful. I was good, though. I didn't cry. It was kind of in public, you know? I wanted to cry. Oh, chickens are up there laying eggs. It sounds like they're... Somebody's up there trying to push one out. It's having trouble. There's a little egg the other day. A little egg. It's a little egg with no yolk. Had two chalazas though. And there was a little fleck, like the yolk was almost there. A couple times we've gotten little eggs and there's been a yolk, a tiny little yolk, like a yolk the size of the tip of my pinky inside of it a couple times. But usually when the little eggs come out, there's no yolk in them. Hey, are you going to come up here now? Are you going to come up here? Hey, come on. Come on, mister. Hey, come on, handsome fella. You can do it. Hey, you gonna sit here with mommy? Oh, oh, you mama's boy. You mama's good boy, yeah. Yeah, he's real good. He knows when I'm bleeding. He doesn't jump on me. Mm -mm. Even like when I came home yesterday, I think he was real happy and everything. He danced around me. He didn't jump on me. He knows. He knows. He's real good. And he snuggled in the bed last night, but he didn't. he didn't jump on top of me. He knew better jumped on top of Omar and he snuggled in between us and he laid on my feet but he didn't jump on me because he knows Brody knows Brody are you Mr. Sensitive hey are you sensitive hey mister mister show me your handsome face I love your handsome face buddy hey there it is there's your handsome face 
Are you Mr. Sensitive? Yes. You sensitive. He's sensitive. Oh my goodness. I am sensitive, mommy. Don't talk about it. <laughs> He's so sensitive, I guess. Yeah. He's been picking on Sassy. And she was meow meowing at the bottom of the stairs. And I said, come on up, kitty. Come on up. And he got all upset. And he jumped off the bed. And he's tap, 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 tapping around. Like, will you stop it? I don't know why he's being so, like, that poor kitty. That poor kitty. Oh. Oh. So I got my Lenten art endeavor started. Yeah. So I could start doing some tests. Yeah. Before I start really, really throwing the work in, right? And I got a couple sketches done. So I got some new materials, right? I got some new stuff to play with. So I gotta do some tests. See how long it takes for things to dry. Sounds like the tea is coming. Let's watch the door. Tea. Time to drink from skulls. Yes. It's the hibiscus tea. Uh, yeah. Yeah, with the water, with the watermelon in it. Right yep. there. With the watermelon punch. Yeah, watermelon punch. Yeah. You gonna make some new tea today? Well, you got Blue Dream down there for me to use. Yep. I would prefer. I would like to use that. I like. I medicinally, I like the Blue Dream a lot. Uh -huh. It's good for topical, and okay. it's also. And I suspect it's going to be good for my, my, tea. my tea. Oh, is he going to stick his nose in here? He's coming around. Here he comes. <laughs> uh, uh. He says, get away from her. <laughs> get away from her. Don't you know she is bleeding? Don't you know? <laughs> you can't touch her right now. Look at him push. Away. He's like, stay <laughs> away. Thank you, Brody. Thank you, Brody. You are very effective. It's very effective. Oh, he says, I'll give you kisses. I was just licking my dick and chewing sticks out of my tail. I'll kiss your face. <laughs> Brody, are you giving dick licking kisses? Oh, my goodness, Brody. You, you can keep those, Brody. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, Brody. Oh. Oh, my tea is just in time. I was getting ready to be like, hey, this isn't just any morning. Right. I need my tea today real bad. It's not just my leg, it's also my uterus. Oh, my God. Oh. I got a new lip balm and I love it. Love lip balm, I do. Love chapstick. Mm. Palmer's cocoa cocoa butter. Palmer's cocoa butter is my favorite moisturizing product. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes so good. Mm. It feels so good. Mm. I mean my lips like actually like suck up the moisture. It's not just something greasy on top, right? Sometimes it's just greasy. Mm, this one. Mm, mm. It's good. It's real good. Mm -hmm. I love Palmer's Cocoa Butter. It's my favorite. Yeah, another product I like. I like Desert Essence. They make a, uh, they make, um, a lotion. A lotion that's essential... I call it essential nutrients or something. I don't know. It's it's real light. It's light but rich at the same time. My skin absorbs it. Yeah. I've I've never I don't think I've ever seen it in the store. I've only been able to order it from them. But um it's like what is it like twenty five bucks for the little tub? And a little bit goes a long way and it's real nice. I like it. I love Desert Essence products. I do. I love Desert Essence. Mm, the tea tree oil. Oh, here he comes. Are you back here to protect mommy? Are you back here to protect mommy from the daddy monster? From all those who might want to kiss mommy? 
or hug mommy or touch mommy right now when she should not be touched. He's my protector. He says, don't touch her. Don't touch her. She hurts and she's squirting blood. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll bleed to death. No. Oh. Uh, it's, it's a lot of blood. They say, oh, you only lose like a third of a cup of blood for your... No. No, it's not true for everyone. I think there's a lot of women who have easy periods. I do. And I am not one of them. And I bleed a lot. A lot. Yeah. Four pads a day? Yeah, right. Four pads at a time. Two pads at a time. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So I'm probably going to have to start, or I'm probably going to start opening on Sundays because there is a lot of traffic on Sundays. People out having their Sunday brunch, Sunday walk around, looky-loo, whatever, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> so, yeah. Mm. So, I think I'll cook today. Mm. Baked bread the other day. It turned out really good. It's a really good loaf of bread. Or three loaves of bread. Two of them in the freezer. Because I do that. Like, I bake, I, I bake a big batch of bread. It's usually somewhere between three and four. Three and four full-size loaves or, you know, some some variation of. Sometimes I do buns or rolls. Sometimes I do flatbread. Right? Sometimes I do baguettes. Well, baguettes, I have to do a wet it. It's a different dough. But I have a whole bunch of different flours down there. I have, I have durum all-purpose. I have uh, dark rye. I have whole wheat. I have spelt. Those are the, those are the flowers. Then I have some, I have some starches. I have potato starch and acorn starch and sweet potato starch. Sometimes those are nice. They, they give you a little different texture when you mix those in. Uh, sometimes I mix those in when I start the dough a little bit, right? Gets the yeast all crazy. The yeast is like, mmm, pure starch. I have some banana flour down there too. Like honest to goodness, banana flour. I've used that a couple times in baking. Um, like desserts, not bread. Yeah, desserts. And I've used it in making pancakes too. It's inter It's an interesting flour. Um, it's. I you know I have some teff flour down there too, but I haven't used the teff flour. It's similar in texture to the teff flour, right? Like when it before, when it's just not baked, like just the flour by itself. It's not slick like a starch or like tapioca or anything. Oh, but the bread that I made recently is, I think it's, well, it's mostly, it has a high qual quantity of rye. It was like three cups of rye flour in that. And two cups of spelt. I like this spelt flour. Slick. I like it. And it makes it makes a heartier, denser bread. And if you use just the spelt, it's it's a it's a lower glycemic index than than uh, wheat. Spelt is in the is in the same family as wheat, but it's not wheat, right? It's still a glutinous grain. It still has gluten, but it's not it's not like wheat. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I have some nice chewy bread dough down there, right? Bread down there right now. Uh, might make some sauce today. Make some make pasta fazool. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something else. I got some veggies down there. I might cut up the veggies. That was the other thing I was thinking about. Cutting up the veggies and doing like a chickpea fritters or chickpea cakes with veggies in them. You put a red sauce on that. That'd be good, huh? I think so. 
red sauce and lemon. Yeah. With chickpea. That would be good. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe I'll make some lentil soup. Although I don't know if I have any celery down there right now or not. I, and I, I have one onion. I have one onion down there. I still have stuff in the freezer, but I feel like leave those for, you know, the days when I'm working and Omar needs to throw something in the, in the oven, right, for himself. Rather than when I'm home, I can actually do something. A bunch of laundry needs to be taken care of. Oh, my God. Yeah, so it's a new project. I've got some new, some new materials to play with. Looking forward to that. So, you know, I do uh, obituary searches for people in my family because nobody in my family tells me anything ever. So every now and then I, I search for dead people, you know, see if anybody's died. And I found out my Uncle Carl died last year. Nobody told me Carl died. Yeah. I hadn't seen him in a long time. But there for a while, my Aunt Phyllis was around a whole lot. Like, I could feel my Aunt Phyllis, and I was I had a couple of dreams about my Aunt Phyllis and stuff. So I'm, I'm guessing that's probably around the time when my Uncle Carl died. I had some weird dreams last night, that's for damn sure. I had a crazy-ass dream last night. Big fucking party. It was a big party. Yeah, and I'll, 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 it was like a big gypsy caravan party. And I, you know, it was, it was a big... It was like... Um, so there's this dream I used to have all the time um, where I was burned alive and with a bunch of other people. And it was in the same, it was in the same area that was over, uh, that was, that was, that, that dream took place in the area of modern day Ukraine, um, where St. Larissa was, was, was martyred with 61 other, six, yes, I think it was, it was a total of 62 early Christians, uh, her, converted Huns, um, in, in the area of modern day Ukraine were burned alive in a yurt. Anyway, it was in that, it was in that same, it was in that same area. Like I recognized it from that dream, but this time instead of this, it was like, it was not back then. Like that dream was, was ancient times and people were wearing different garments and things. This was like, I don't know. I don't want to say modern times because it wasn't like right now, but maybe like, hmm, I don't know, 70s based on the hair and stuff. It was interesting. 1970s. But it was out in the same wooded area. And there was a big, and it was in the big, there was a big tent there. It was like a big circus tent. Like, it was like a yurt. It was like a giant yurt. It was like a giant yurt and there was a big party going on. There was a stage and everything. It was interesting. There it was like it was, it was like a big convention of 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 Roma, and there were like all these different there were all these different groups there, all Roma, but different Roma groups, and like there were a bunch of people there from my family, and um, yeah, it was weird. It was weird. When when that 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 festival was it in May or was it in March? There's a festival. There is. There's a festival. I I can't remember. It's coming up. I can't remember if it's in March or May. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, that festival's coming up. Oh, my family never participated in it. My family didn't really participate in any of that shit. Right? Try to blend in. Like a sore thumb. Blend in like a sore thumb. Uh, I haven't done any card readings over at the gallery and I, yet. Like I said, I want to do my New Year's read this coming year, right? There at the gallery. 
and sell tickets, right? It's not charging for a reading. It's charging for coming and watching a reading, right? It's a different thing. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I haven't read in that space yet. I have some mixed emotions about transporting my cards, right? I have them in a box, um, a, a wooden box that my father made. It's beautiful. The box is beautiful. It is. So I, my cards live in that box. So I don't know like if I'm going to take that box over or if I'm going to just wrap up each deck individually. And if I'm going to wrap them up, what am I going to wrap them up in? <clears throat> the one deck I keep wrapped in purple satin anyway. It's the first deck that I started reading. I have a bag that I made, but that was for when I was just reading one deck. The bag isn't big enough to carry all three decks in. So I don't know. I don't think the bag's big enough to carry all three decks. I'll have to look and say. Yeah. I don't know. I have a satin bag that I made that has silver findings on it. Silver findings that I also made. And I haven't been able to find that bag. That's also another bag that I used to carry the cards in. Um, I have to see if I, I... It's possible that that's something that's been stolen. People are shitty. People are really shitty. They steal shit like that on my house. Yeah. I have a couple places I can look to see if it's there. <sighs> that bag is like all hand stitched. The whole thing is hand stitched. It's not machine stitched. That whole thing is hand stitched. Mm -hmm. Brody, why do you let people steal stuff out of the house? Huh? Huh? Anyway. saying to Omar the other night, like, I don't even, I don't even look like myself to me anymore. My hair is so long. I mean, it's the longest my hair has ever, ever been in my life. I've never, ever had long hair before. I mean, it is legitimately long now, you know, it's, it sits on my shoulders, you know, it's, it's legitimately long. I don't know. I've never had long hair before, ever, ever. Just let it keep growing and growing. Uh, I might need, I need a little end trim. I need a little end trim, maybe. But it's long, huh? It's really long. Watching this documentary yesterday on the fast, on fast fashion, and the impact of, of textile waste and things and they were showing like I knew about the textile waste dumped in Africa and stuff but I didn't realize that they that they had so much of it down in Chile I didn't realize that that was something I learned from that documentary it was about the giant landfills in Chile Chile imports that stuff it's like so weird I you know I had the documentary on I was watching it because I was in pain and it's hard to read when you're in that much pain. It's easier to have external kind of, kind of stimulation in that way. And so I was watching, I, I was always watching these documentaries and also, so like if, if people came in, you know, I could talk about what my, what my garments are about and the textile work that I do and how it's related to that. Um, but I was saying to, saying to Omar, you know, I, I, I can't imagine throwing all of those textiles into the garbage. People just do that, you know? Like, I, I feel a moral responsibility 
to recycle our textiles. I do. You know? So, yeah, I recycle. I recycle the so our socks and our gutchies and his undershirts and all that. I do. I recycle it all. It's possible. It is. I mean, people need to need to do that. Just a big mess. I was, oh, they're showing all the tires and the clothes and stuff. Just, I'd like to have some of those tires. Build a retaining wall with them. I would. I just. I just use tires. Use tires to make a retaining wall. Hell yeah. Why not? Anyway, things I think about, things I think about. Watch the basketballs this afternoon. Oh my God. I guess. I guess I'll watch the basketballs this afternoon. I told him, Elmer's birthday's coming up. I'm like, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want to do? I took the, I, I closed the gallery for that day. Then I posted, we'll be closed on his birthday. So we can do whatever the hell he wants to do. Go wherever the hell he wants to go. Whatever he wants to do. Whatever he wants to do, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever he wants to do. I said he's probably going to take the day off work. I don't know. Is he? I don't know. I don't know. Is he put in for a day off work yet? I don't know. For his birthday. I'm 44, so that means he's going to be 46. He's almost in his late 40s his last year being in his mid 40s next year he'll be in his late 40s closing in on 50 50 burger I'm 44 44 yeah friggin Pisces Pisces. Pisces, a little bit of fishies. <laughs> it is, it's raining out there. Oh, people were taking pictures of the snow yesterday. I'm like, I'll oh, get over it. We're driving in, there's it's on all the snow in 17. There was there was a significant amount. All these broken trees and everything. And I was looking at it, I was like, oh wow. And you can see the, the vegetation turn the turns a different color green after it's been frozen and then starts to thaw. And, you know, those plants aren't, aren't used to that. And it was, it, it was, that was interesting to see. Like I would have taken pictures of that, but people were out there like taking close up, taking their, taking pictures of the snow. And then there were a bunch of places along 17 people had stopped and made snowmen. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm like get over it. <laughs> there's this spot, there's a spot where you can pull off and people were like walking in the snow and kicking the snow. I'm like, oh my God. I oh, know all those years of snow. I'm like, I still don't even, I'm still not even interested. I don't know. If I'd gotten out and walked up and taken some snow off a tree, I might have tasted it. See if it tasted the same. Because snow has a flavor. It does. Different places, it tastes different pla tastes different ways. Snow off a of redwood? Snow off a of redwood would probably taste good. It probably would. Oh. <sighs> Good luck with the basketballs today, fellas. Good luck with the basketballs.